Bangkok prepares for potential Chow Phraya River flooding, ongoing efforts to mitigate flood damage. Flood prevention teams are working relentlessly to construct a sandbag barrier along the Chow Phraya River in Nonthaburi, as captured in a photograph by Patrapong Chat Patrasil. These proactive efforts are in response to the threat of the Chow Phraya River overflowing due to continuous flooding upstream in northern provinces. The Royal Irrigation Department, RID, and the Bureau of Water Management and Hydrology are openly working hard to minimize flooding and damage to the local area. The RID reports that floodwaters from the northern provinces have reached Bangkok, eight days after causing significant damage further upstream. The Chow Phraya Dam in Chai Nat has played a key role by adjusting water discharge levels, impacting water management in Bangkok and the Central Plains. The dam recently increased its discharge rate to 1,300 cubic meters per second, up from 1,100 cubic meters, to handle the rising levels of the Yom and Nan rivers, both major tributaries of the Chow Phraya. Thanit Somboon, director of the Bureau of Water Management and Hydrology, confirmed that this rate will be maintained to manage the flow. Officials are closely monitoring weather forecasts for September 1 to 4, with heavy rains expected in the lower north and upper central plains. There is particular concern for farmers in the upper central plains, who are in the midst of their rice harvest and could face significant economic losses due to flooding. Managing the main rivers and diverting excess water to fields after the harvest remains a priority to ease downstream flooding. There's no need to panic, reassured Mr. Thanet, noting that water levels in Bangkok are currently under control due to effective management. However, heavy rainfall continues to impact the northern provinces. Over 100 mm of rain was recorded in Chiang Mai, Lamphun, Nan, and Frey, worsening flooding in the Yom and Nan river basins. In Sukhothai, the main sluice gate at Hat Saphan Chan has successfully controlled water flow in some districts, preventing overflow. Nevertheless, over 70,000 rye of land remains flooded, especially in Sawankalok district. The floodwaters have breached fields and flood walls, with excess water being diverted to the Bang Rakam field, which can hold up to 62 million cubic meters of water. Plans are in place to drain the flooded areas in Sukhothai to prepare for further rainfall in the coming month. The Bureau of Water Management and Hydrology has indicated that more water might need to be redirected into irrigation canals from the Chow Friar to manage the situation effectively. As the harvest season concludes in mid-September, more fields in the central plains will become available for use as water catchment areas. The National Water Command will decide which fields will serve this purpose. In Bangkok, Governor Chadchart Sitipunt has strengthened flood defences by securing 50 fencing sheets to reinforce the hydro fence along the Chow Phraya River, aiming to control water levels and prevent severe flooding in the city. Up north, the heavy rain has led to additional challenges. Public Health Minister Somsak Thepsutin announced the temporary closure of five state-run clinics in Frey due to flooding. These clinics are expected to reopen on September 2, resuming services for the community. Daily weather forecast for August 30, 2024. The rather strong southwest monsoon affecting the Andaman Sea, Thailand, and the Gulf of Thailand is weakening, while a low-pressure cell is situated over Upper Vietnam. As a result, there is a decrease in rainfall across the country, although isolated heavy rains are still expected in the lower north, upper northeast, upper central, and eastern regions. Residents in these areas should be alert to the risk of heavy rain and potential flooding, especially in areas near foothills, waterways, and low-lying regions. The winds and waves in the upper Andaman Sea are expected to weaken, with wave heights reaching about 2 meters and over 2 meters in areas experiencing thunderstorms. In the upper Gulf and lower Andaman Sea, wave heights will range from 1 to 2 meters and could exceed 2 meters during thunderstorms. All ships are advised to proceed with caution and avoid thunderstorms. Additionally, Tropical Storm Shanshan Shan is currently affecting southern Japan. Travelers planning to visit the region should check the latest weather updates. This storm is not expected to affect the weather in Thailand. 7-Day Weather Forecast, August 29 to September 4, 2024 Forecast Overview August 30 to 31, the monsoon trough will move over the north and upper Laos, with the strong southwest monsoon continuing over the upper Andaman Sea, lower central, upper south and east. There will be less rainfall overall, 
but isolated heavy and very heavy rains are expected in the east and the south, west coast. September 1st to 4th, the monsoon trough is expected to shift southward, stretching across the north, northeast, and central regions into an active low-pressure cell over the middle South China Sea. The moderate southwest monsoon will prevail over the Andaman Sea, south, east, and Gulf of Thailand, leading to increased rainfall across the country. Isolated heavy rains are likely in the lower northeast, central, including Bangkok and its vicinity, east, and upper south, with the possibility of very heavy rainfall in some areas. Wave conditions, August 30th to September 4th in the upper Andaman Sea, north of Ranong, waves are expected to be around 2 meters high, rising above 2 meters in thunderstorms. In the lower Andaman Sea, south of Fanga, and the upper gulf, waves will be between 1 and 2 meters high, reaching about 1 meter in the lower gulf, and over 2 meters during thunderstorms. Caution! From September 1st to 4th, heavy to very heavy rains could lead to flash floods and overflow, particularly in foothill areas near waterways and lowlands. All ships in the Andaman Sea and Gulf of Thailand should exercise caution and avoid thunderstorms, with small boats in the upper Andaman Sea advised to remain ashore until August 29th. Monthly Weather Forecast, November 2022 Forecast Overview Upper Thailand Temperatures will drop, especially in the northern and northeastern regions, with occasional thunderstorms. Cold weather will prevail in mountainous areas. This is due to a moderate high-pressure system from China periodically covering the north and northeast. Southern Thailand, persistent heavy rains are expected, particularly on the east coast from Chumphun southward, with thunderstorms affecting 60 to 80 percent of the area. There will be heavy and very heavy rains in some areas, which could cause flash floods and river overflows. Wind waves in the Gulf of Thailand will be strong, with heights of 2 to 4 meters, while waves in the Andaman Sea will range from 1 to 2 meters due to the prevailing northeast monsoon, which will strengthen periodically. Additionally, a monsoon trough across the central south and an active low pressure cell may approach, increasing the likelihood of rain. Caution! Overall, November is expected to see rainfall in the northern and northeastern regions at 10% below average, while the central and eastern regions will experience normal rainfall. The southern region is forecasted to receive 10% more rainfall than average, with temperatures slightly above normal. Thank you for tuning in. For the latest updates, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day!